Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Eileen and this is Medicine Walk. And for those of you who are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, this is Healing House Radio. So, uh, this week was exciting because we hit our first 100 subscribers. And it is, you know, it feels really good to be able to hit that milestone and be able to apply for a custom URL because it really feels like, you know, we're kind of setting a foundation for something really cool and really amazing. And what we're going to talk about today is that idea of why. Why is this important? Why am I talking about these things? Why now? And really, why now is because now is when it's needed. And why am I talking about this? And why am I going through and, and doing these videos and answering questions and, you know, really making all that effort other than giving our MCAT Luna the opportunity to get some screen time? Um, it's important because there are people out there, people who have an amazingly special ability who can resonate with other energies and with the energies of other people. And while that carries a certain challenge to it sometimes, it's something that can help humanity. And that's what the goal is. Because, you know, first, it's about showing people that there's nothing wrong with them, that the ability they have as an empath is not something that they should feel bad about. It's not something that they should try to hide. It's not something that makes them weak or too sensitive or overly dramatic or any of those other labels that people might put, mistakenly put on people who have a keener sense of what other people are going through and what they're feeling. It is a very weird time in the world right now. And it is a time where we're seeing both the best and the worst of humanity. And it's a time when people are scared. It's a time when there is so much intense emotion that is going on. I mean, and it is, it's like a collective consciousness. There's fear, there's anger, there's frustration, there's, you know, unknowing because there's so much about this situation that we don't know. And all of that energy and all of those emotions that have all been kind of under the surface are now bubbling up and breaking through. And I have observed it in people who I know who, you know, were empathic, but it was kind of buried down because of the fact that there's so much to resonate with. Empaths are well, for lack of a better term, they're being hatched. That, you know, it's labor has been induced. And because of what's going on in the world, because of all of the emotion that is out there, even the people who maybe only had a real kind of a, a buried ability, that resonance, it's now kind of coming out so that people are connecting with an energetic and with an emotional level that they really haven't seen or recognized before because we've never been in a situation as most of us probably in our lifetimes have never known global, a global level of fear and a global level of frustration and a global level of anger. All of these are, I mean, these emotions have energy attached. And it's almost like suddenly, you know, tripling the voltage going through something, you know, and, and it can make a light bulb burst if you suddenly increase, you know, a it by a huge amount, you know, the amount of energy being put through. And from what I've seen and, you know, from what I believe, it is this intense level of emotional energy that is forcing empaths to become from subconscious empaths to conscious empaths and they may not know how to deal with it. They may not understand why all of a sudden they're so sensitive to the things going on around them and the people and, and just everything 
why suddenly, you know, they can barely stand to be around the news because what they hear hits them on such an emotional level and such a deep level that they don't know how to deal with it. We are living in a very, very dynamic time and the energy that's being produced is off the charts, especially the emotional energy. And for all of those people who are suddenly awakening to a, an ability that may have been, you know, far in the back of their heads and far in the back of their minds or something that they could kind of ignore or put off, it can't be ignored now. It cannot be set aside because it's right up in everyone's face and it's expanding. It's going to get worse before it gets better. And because of that, empaths are tremendously vulnerable right now. Now, the cool part is, it means that all these people are awakening to an amazing ability that once they find balance with it, is going to change everything because once this all passes and it will eventually pass a part of the aftermath is going to be these all of these newly awakened empaths and they are going to be able to help with the healing process and you know we're not just talking about the physical healing from the virus we are talking about the healing of humanity the healing of people to be able to bring peace and calm and to help people understand and move through their own processes. That is what the empaths are really, really good at. That is a part of our gift is to help other people connect and be able to find peace with their own energies and find the answers to, you know, all the questions that they've been having about themselves to be able to find an eye of the storm and find peace. That's what we do. And this is our time. This is the time when we need to be able to find balance within ourselves because very soon others are going to be looking to us for balance. And I want those empaths to be able to be ready to step up into that because it is going to be a big job. And that level of healing takes time. It takes patience and it takes a heart willing to be able to resonate. And I don't want empaths to be afraid to resonate because it could throw them off. Yes, it can. And it can be managed. And people need us. People need what we can do. They need to be able to have somebody be able, you know, to, who can sit with them and say, it's okay. I understand to be able to be good listeners, to be able to help people kind of talk through their own processes by bearing witness to them. This is what we are. This is what we do. And this is why we need to do it now. It's going to be a long haul. It is. And through this process, you know, it really is going to be a trial by fire in many cases. And you know, I'm sorry that a lot of empaths are being thrown into the deep end and maybe feel like they're going through it alone. You're not alone. There are other people feeling what you're feeling. And my goal is to create a community of people who can support one another through this process because it is intense. It is huge. And if you think that, you know, you have to do it by yourself, yeah, you want to go and hide. I understand that. I get it. I had my going and hiding days myself a long time ago. But once I figured out that this was something that I could be able to tap into to help people, it's why I started this whole series. Because this stuff was coming. And it is important for us to be able to sit and be a part of it, to view it for exactly what it is, to take the fear and the stories out of it and to be able to connect with the energy of this event itself so that that way we can be able to teach others to find balance in it. Once we can find the eye of the storm, we can show others how to find it as well. 
and empaths are uniquely qualified to be able to do that. And they need to be able to take care of themselves. I know that these are overwhelming times and because there is so much emotional energy that's going on, it means that we've got to be that much better about being able to dial down when we need to feel a little bit less and to be able to keep ourselves balanced, to keep our heads above the water. So that way we can help others. So I know it's tough. I know it's really, really hard. And you know, I know that firsthand because I went through the process of being able to find my balance of being able to dial it down and what that meant and what that felt like. And it was definitely a trial and error type of thing. And if I can help others to not have to go through it quite as roughly as I did, you know, I'll consider that a win. And you know, for those around the world who are watching this, you know, space doesn't matter. Distance doesn't matter. We are all connected to one another. And that's the really cool part because as empaths, we're never really alone. We always have access to a connection and we get to choose who we connect to and who we don't. So we're going to keep on doing this. We're going to keep on exploring things. We're going to keep on answering questions. If you have questions, please submit them. It's a great, big, scary situation. And people are going to be reactive. And people are going to be reacting from their fear. And this time has brought forth amazing heroes. And people who you know, step up and let their compassion come forward and really work to help each other. And we also see how it creates an environment of anger and resentment and distrust and, well, I'm going to get mine because, you know, the heck with all my neighbors. Yeah, we're seeing a full activation of light and shadow. And it's okay because light and shadow are both two sides of the same coin. And it doesn't mean that it's all gonna be perfect, and it doesn't mean that it's all gonna be horrible. It just means that we will have to find our way through it. And for people who aren't sure about how they're gonna manage it, the answer to that question is the best that they can. And as long as we can maintain our humanity and keep that connection going and be able to connect with one another, it's through that that we're going to be able to be, you know, really find that healing on the other side of this. And that's what it's really about is about the healing that we can help with. So if you're empathic and you're kind of, you know, feeling alone, you're feeling separate, you're feeling overwhelmed, it's okay. You'll get past it. And we're going to all be helping one another. And I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here to help you and guide you as best I can. And then for you to find your own path. You know, I, I certainly don't want anybody following any following me because frankly, I've got my own stuff that I'm dealing with, but I want you to find the strength to be able to move forward on your own. And by learning a few basics, that's what the help is. You know, that helps you to be able to find your own way. As I've told my students before, you know, I light away, I show away, then I get out of the way. So you find your way. And that's all I'm here to do is to help. And if you need that help, if I can help in any way, please let me know. And you know, I'll do the best I can to assist you and guide you through whatever it is that you're going through. And if you're willing to have that shared, you know, with the video, then, you know, it'll probably help a lot of people. 
But if you just have something that you want to talk to me about or, you know, ask me about, please do. You know, I'll, I'll be happy to give you whatever assistance I can, wherever you are. We can do this because we were born to. It's part of our spiritual contract, maybe. But either way, I'm here to help. And as each person, and as, as each empath gains their own confidence and gains their own sense of themselves and gains control over what they do and what they feel, then they can help other people learn it as well. Everybody can be teachers and everybody can help be guides. So that's why we're doing this. That's why I'm doing this. That's why the time is now. So thank you for joining me. And if you like this video, please press like. If you like what we're putting together here, please subscribe. And if you need to reach me, you can do so through my Twitter page. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join up my group on Facebook, Medicine Walk with Dr. Eileen. And you can also reach me by email, which is in the description. So, again, thank you for joining me. And as always, I wish you balance and I wish you blessings from my heart to yours. Love you and see you tomorrow. Bye.